Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have another LEGO Dimensions video for you, and this one is another newsie. It's uh, crazy. I don't know if we call it an Easter egg or not, but it's a LEGO Orbit City, and it is another secret little area that we didn't even know existed, and it's home of the Jetsons. Now, the Simpsons level pack, as well as the Doctor Who level pack, are required in order to access this, because you do need to play the level that comes in the Simpsons level pack, as you can see here. It's called The Mysterious Voyage of Homer. And now we have just made it through a, a cutscene and we just uh, basically used our belching powers to shatter through some glass or some ice on the ground and uh, we jumped up over the top and now we saw a cutscene that actually left us right there where you saw a start. And if we double back just a little bit, we can find this red double decker bus. We'll go ahead and do a nice little belly bounce to go ahead and slam it down. And now we can build those bits back into a TARDIS pad. Station. I guess that's what it, no. TARDIS travel location there. TARDIS pad travel. I don't know. Something like that. Either way, we'll go ahead and pull in the old TARDIS and uh, we'll hop in with Homer. We don't need the doctor for this. I don't know if Homer's got his TARDIS license or not, but uh, we're going to go ahead and find out. Pew. Pew. All right. Here we go. Pew. Going through the old vortex of time. And booyaka shaw. Look at this. It's Orbit City. You can see cosmic cogs. It should be either Spacely Sprockets, or isn't it Cogswell Cogs? Anyways, Cosmic Cogs, maybe this is the really early stuff. I know that there was a few different variations. Um, we're really excited. We're going to jump for joy here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up this mini kit here as well. Yes, uh, you busted me again. I was doing another trial run trying to see if we could get all of the mini kits for this level, and uh, turns out we end up falling one short, at least uh, according to our account here and uh but we do find quite a few in here we're we're gonna uh go ahead and destroy some stuff on the left which actually give us some bouncy bricks i actually called in cyborg because i was gonna melt those gold chandelier things or the lights whatever those are hanging from the ceiling but it turns out uh i needed to build up this pad over here and access this techno t terminal techno t t t t t t Boy, I, I tell you what, I'm off to a rough start in my talking. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it together here. Uh, we built it up. We actually gain access to a keystone terminal, which has two different keystones in it. We've got the elemental and the shift. We're going to go ahead and use the shift one to start things off, and we're going to hop on through the yellow portal, which takes us outside to another medikit. Woohoo! Now, keep in mind, we will do a video for the Mysterious Voyage of Homer whenever we figure it all out and get all 10 mini kits. We were going to do, like, wave one, wave two. In the end, I think it best suits everybody if we just kind of do the levels as we can with all 10 mini kits. And uh, as the different waves come out, the different people and are available for hire, uh, the hero for hire, that is, uh, as well as purchasing at your local retail store. But uh, either way, we're going to go ahead and wait till we have all 10 to do those. But we will do a video, I promise. I promise. All right, here we go. We're now, we're, we're, uh, we found our way over on the right-hand side by using the blue portal. And uh, we find this little electric shock panel, which we can call on our buddy, the ACU Trooper. There's a couple of guys that can actually light it up with the electricity. But once you do, it actually cues the conveyor belt, which is awesome. Remember George used to ride a conveyor belt all the way to his desk at work? Remember that? He'd hop out of his car or whatever, flying vehicle, whichever you want to call it, and he'd roll all the way through. That's awesome. I kind of wish I had one of those up my stairs to my desk. But grab the mini kit, and we're going to go ahead and melt all of these chandeliers, which... Um, Got to be honest, I was a little disappointed when I found out that there really isn't anything related to them. Now, uh, it's been a long time since I've watched the Jetsons, so I'm going to have to go back and see if there's any significance to these gold things because I couldn't find anything. There's no bouncing bricks. There's no one of six. There's no anything. It just kind of looks like maybe uh, some accents in the room to make it look a little extra cool. However, we do have a mini kit arrow still flashing up the tube. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to old Cyborg. So yeah. And uh, we're going to switch the old Keystone element over. Now, turns out if you don't have uh, a character with a shock ability or electric ability, you can actually use the elemental Keystone here and move your character to the spot on the toy pad where it will provide electricity for him. And it'll be shockingly awesome for you to get that money kit too. All right. Worst hack in Happy Thumbs history coming up right now. It's actually not bad. It's just bad luck, I think, is what it really is. Like, I, I part of me wants to point the finger and say, you know, 
maybe the design was a little bit trickier than it should have been here, but I'll, as always, I'll chop it up as user error because it's most likely my thumbs providing <laughs> the mishap here. But, uh, all right, so hacking, if you've never done a hack, you do need to move your character around on the toy pad in order to light up the certain area. Uh, so in this case, we're in the red zone right now. So we have our character, and I believe the bottom left is where the red was. And, uh, all right, there's these little... Uh, sphincter looking like cracks here and they do disappear after you jump off of them for a, a second or two so um i kind of freaked out here and i thought i was going to need the red one again which i did because there's a red st uh block there that you need to uh have so make sure you keep the red all the way till you get into the middle platform there and then switch on over to green or blue at whichever whichever one you want to do next we went with the green one and we got so far so good not not terrible on this hack but this is where it starts to get a little bit rough um, yeah, so you can press the X button or A button, depending on your platform, to go ahead and do a, a slam, and the slam does redirect the pathway of the bad guy, if you're close enough. It's all about timing. Um, but, so, my timing was not so good today, so <laughs> I apologize for that, and, uh, you know, of course, you're welcome to fast forward through the video a little bit. I don't, I don't think we'll have any quick links for this one. We might, though. You might look down below in the video description. All right, so here's where it gets squirrely. You can't move the camera down far enough to see where they are coming from. I was pushing down into the right, and I unfortunately couldn't see very far. So I got slammed by one of these little bad guy tokens, and I had to start all over again. So I'm going to make my way all the way back over the red. And keep in mind, I had to switch it back from the red or from the green to the red so I could get through here. Now i got to switch it back from red to green. But wait a minute. Nope, I'm going to switch it to blue. Nope, green it is. And I'm going to try this again. And, oh, no, I'm going to run out. Oh, try to do the button. Oh, my God. Okay. Whew. All right, we're going to try this. Come on, come on, come on. See, it's just so hard because you can't see where they're coming from. So my advice is use these middle pathways, as you kind of see me doing. But you're still going to run into the possibility of a mistake here. But I get lucky. And, woo -hoo -hoo, that was close call. All right, only one left. And, unfortunately, I think I get hit one more time. I have to respawn one more time. Whoop, whoop. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. You know, I started thinking maybe if I got all the studs so far, that if I got all the studs total, that we'd be able to find out for sure if you do get any, like a purple stud or anything for getting all the coins or studs within the hack. But it uh, turns out there's still a lot of studs that I need to grab. So I just said, bang it. Forget about it. All right, made it all the way through, and I got it. So, you know, it was not the best hack, but maybe not the worst hack either. Kind of set it up for uh, a big disappointment, and then really it wasn't too bad. Normally I speed these videos up just a little bit too, but because I wanted everything to be authentic and the sounds to be perfect and not uh, distorted in any sort of the way, I left it just as is. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew that there was another uh, mystery level from that TARDIS travel pad, but I wasn't sure, 100% sure what it was. But, uh, well, we've got uh, the Flintstones, or a.k.a. Bedrock. we got the Jetsons, a.k.a. Orbit City. And uh, you can see in the background, you got the Little Dipper School in the background. And unfortunately, you don't see the shopping mall. But uh, and, and I'm still a little curious about the old. If you guys know anything about the uh, Spacely Sprockets versus Cosmic Cogs versus Cogswell Cogs, um, you know, and it might just be a time frame. You know, the, the show had a couple of different versions throughout the series. And, oh, look at this. I wanted to mix things up a little bit. I thought, let's let's try somebody new that can fly. And <laughs> I tried to bring a little dog, too, but Rastro wasn't around, so I couldn't get him. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see some more Hanna-Barbera stuff. And uh, who knows? Maybe there'll be some wacky races or, I don't know, some Captain Caveman. I, I would buy some packs. Lego, if you're listening, shut up and take my money. I want some Hanna-Barbera level and fun and team packs. I would buy the bejesus out of that stuff. So I'm not even sure what bejesus is. It sounds like a biblical reference with a weird beginning, but I'm not sure. We'll have to look that up and find out, too. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I stumbled through this one. Sorry about the commentary. It wasn't the greatest, but hopefully I put some smiles on your faces, if not from my blunders from the comments I made. And if you guys have any questions or comments or requests, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment down below. Of course, we would appreciate a thumb up or thumb down. And uh, we always ask that if you thumb us down, that you give us a reason so we can improve or, or change it. Maybe you hated my commentary, and rightfully so. This wasn't the best one. It's kind of early. and uh, But I wanted to get this out to you guys. I found this, and you know, I don't know how many people have actually found this area. Maybe you you guys have already seen a hundred videos uh, of Orbit City, but uh, just in case we wanted to try to get it out to you now. Oh, to the yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'm back off into secret spy mode. I'm going to go try to find some more of these Hanna-Barbera areas. So as always, until next time.